welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shirley, also known as Back Talk. If you're coming back, welcome back, everyone. Today, I have an outlet haul. I will be completely transparent. This is from two different outlets, but mostly from one outlet. So if you've seen my channel before, I go to Camarillo Outlets. They are an hour and a half away from Disneyland, um, but they're really close to my parents' house, so that's why I go there. And most of the stuff that I got is from there. I also got to go to the Citadel um, outlets. They're about half an hour away from Disneyland. Two completely different stores, two completely different experiences. Um, but I'll talk to you about it as I go through it because I'm sure you just want to see what I got. So let's hear all about it. I will try my best to put prices down under. Oh, somewhere over here or somewhere over here. I don't know why I said it like that. I'm so sorry. Um, down under. <laughs> and uh, yeah, some of the stuff I had an extra 25% off. The first day I went was a Sunday and I went to the ones at the Disney, at the Camarillo outlets. They had an extra 25% off. That day I went a little bit crazy and I wish I would have gone more crazy because it was just such a deal. So the first thing I have is this candle. It was $8 with 25% off. It smells all right. It's not my favorite scent, but <laughs> I think the jar itself, it's so cute. So I'm just gonna burn this bad boy downstairs and then um, once it's you know over and done with, it's gonna be a cute jar. <laughs> but yeah, I just couldn't leave it. There was quite a bit of those that Sunday. I did go the week after and there was none. So good for me for getting one before they were sold out. The next thing I got were these ears these were $16.98 with 25% off there's quite a few left even now when I'm recording this there's quite a few left um, when I got them they were 25% off I don't think I would have gotten them if they weren't 25% off because $16 is still a lot for holiday ears but I don't know about you but once we cross over to August I start thinking holidays <laughs> and uh yeah so I just got so excited about these ears they're really really cute they also had like snow globe ones and other types of ones but i only got those um and then i did do like a full-on walkthrough for that one it's like 20-ish minutes um i'll link it below or i'll put it at the end uh so you can see everything that there was when i went the first time with 25 percent off the next thing i got is this ten dollar hat it is corduroy my husband hates this material i mean in the comments what you think about it i love corduroy i don't know why i hate velvet like if you make me touch velvet i'll like do this little thing but corduroy i don't mind and they're very similar but i don't know but i really liked that somebody was holding it and looking at it and i was like please put it down please put it down and they put it down and i was like yeah um the back side is disney parks and then it has like this um like full leather le leather uh band i think this part was my favorite part and it's just a cute hat and i tried on but it's adjustable and it'll do the trick you know in this arizona heat <laughs> just ow <laughs> just cute and good for what it is so ten dollars for 25 percent off could not pass it uh that same day i got this shirt and this shirt was 12 dollars or 11.98 now i originally got this in a medium and the medium fit looked too big but not big enough to be cute so then i went back and there was two sizes small and large and i was like oh which one do i go for a small look or do i go for a large look and i went for a large look as you can tell it's supposed to fit like a very like oversized tee i think it's really really cute i almost bought it when it was like regular prize during valentine's day season last year and i'm so glad i didn't because it was waiting for me obviously it's really big so i either have to wear it with like shorts i was thinking of just wearing it with like bike shorts underneath and make it just a very comfy look but i'm really excited about that sizes in both stores were really i don't want to say weird um inconsistent they were very inconsistent so some things were just like like this shirt right when i went there was only mediums and then when i went back there was a small and large and then for example these pants that i'm about to show you when i went there was all sizes and when i went back there was only like 2xls 3xls um and things like that so very inconsistent when you go and then it's also very inconsistent by the um garment so some stuff i didn't buy because they didn't have my size i feel like the one on camarillo had a lot of extra smalls just a bunch of extra smalls and the one at the citadels had um just every everything like citadel was hard to find what you wanted but there were sizes for everything i don't know i don't know how to describe it anyways so you have these pants they're like the little stitch pants they have stitch uh, I've seen these for a while since the last time I went to Cali and then Kitty and I went to the outlets in Vegas. I also have a video of that and I also saw them there, but they were still too pricey for me when I went. And this time they were $13 with 25% off and yes, they have pockets. Now I got these in a medium and they fit 
snuggly, but they fit. They fit fine. Just sweatpants, I always want them to be super baggy on me. And these are good, but they're just not baggy. But yeah, I went back to try to exchange them for a bigger size, but there was no bigger sizes when I went. Uh, so yeah, uh, the next thing I got on that same 25% off day was this $8 shirt. Now this $8 shirt, I almost returned, but then I was like, okay, with 25% off, it's really not that bad. Uh, I love this quote to all who come to this happy place. Welcome. I just love the inclusivity of it. I'm huge on like everyone. It's your life. Be happy. Do what you want. So I feel like this message is very that like doesn't matter where you come from, who you are, what you look like. Disney's for everyone. So I really like the quote. So and it looks okay. It looks pretty good. I think I could take it to work. I'm a teacher. So it's very inspirational. Uh, this I got later. So I went back a week later and I couldn't see how many good deals. I mean, it wasn't 25% off anymore. And I already bought what I liked. But I did buy Jack the Pumpkin King. He was $3.98. No 25% off, unfortunately. He's really big. So I don't think I could put him in one take. Maybe I could. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, he's uh, pretty large, but I really like him for Halloween or Christmas. Just put him out on display or maybe like on the Christmas tree or maybe in my office. I don't know. I haven't decided where he's going to go, but for $4, he had to come home with me. And there was quite a few, but again, I went a week later and I didn't see him anymore. So the things that come are your outlets at a really good price go like this so whenever you see it buy it you're always able to return it later within 30 days um we're getting to the nitty-gritty the next thing i got was this uh hoodie this hoodie was only in larger so there was no other size other than large and it's like this tie-dye material like look to it and i don't really have tie-dye as you can tell i already worn it because it's washed uh <laughs> and it just says mickey mickey mouse and then it says scents and then the back side says again Mickey Mouse and then the 28 on the back. It's a little bit large on me. It kind of fits like the spare jersey on me right now. That's just a little bit large. But I like it. <laughs> again, I could just wear shorts or like biker shorts underneath it and just call it a look. So yeah. Now this one I believe was like $12. I kept the tag somewhere. Maybe it was 15 This one was $15 with 25% off. I did get this one on 25% off. And I also have this Hey Hey shirt that I didn't uh, include in the haul. I'm so sorry. It's a long sleeve. It's beautiful. I love it. And it was $8 for 25% off. I just saw the tag because I kept the tag. But it's in the wash right now. Um, and now we're going on to the little things. Um, what I will say about the outlets is that a lot of things from the Disney parks are at the outlets. Which is bizarre. Like the whole Winnie the Pooh collection. I saw most of it at the outlets. The Alice in Wonderland collection, when it was out, it was all at the outlets. The weighted plushes, at the outlets. Uh, some of the shirts, at the outlets. Some of like the plushies, at the outlets. So if you live near an outlet, or again, if you're going to Disneyland, 30 minutes away is the outlet. Maybe check that out first, and then go to Disneyland so you're not spending more. If it's feasible, of course, but it's just something I noticed. Uh, other things I noticed is that the outlets do so much better at having a wider range of sizes. Like I said, not everything comes in your size, unfortunately, because it's an outlet. So I think they're getting whatever they have surplus of, but they do have, um, they're really good at having like, 3XLs, I hadn't seen that many 3XLs in a while, which was great. And 4XLs, I saw like two or three SKUs with 4XL, which I rarely, almost never see at like World of Disney. When I was at World of Disney, I was trying to look and I did see a couple of things in 3XL, but like the sweatshirts and things like that, I couldn't find in 3XL, um, which is kind of uh, tough, right? Because if you have like a family member that you want to buy for and you can't, you have to go online and it's just kind of tough but at the outlets i feel like the sizes do go from extra large to i want to say 4xl and i don't think i've seen beyond that so that's kind of nice all right moving on <laughs> um and then we have pins and little things like that so i have this awesome mix the guardians of the galaxy mission breakout awesome mix volume two i'm hoping i can get my hands on volume one so we can get both i don't know why Originally $22.99 and I bought it for $7 with 25% off. And it is an actual tape if you're younger than I am. And uh, these are called tapes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can actually roll it. I'm actually doing a really bad job at rolling it. But you can even put your pen or your finger here and then roll it until it's in. <laughs> I used to love these. Uh, I used to have one of those like in my room and listen to it. And they were so cheap. I would buy them at like 50 cents, 25 cents. 
It was the best. The next thing I got was this, which I think was mistakenly priced. Originally $34.99. I bought it for $10, so 25% off. I should have bought all of them. I regret not buying all of them because that is such a good deal. Um, it's four pins and the lanyard and it's rides with their assistants. I went back a week, a week later and all of these stickers were off. So they were actually $34.99. So I don't know what happened to the system that they were priced at $10 when they should have been just normal price. I was so excited. I snug one. But uh, yeah, I think these are going to be trader pins. But I think my husband might keep one or two. And then we'll probably use the lanyard for trading. I don't know. But I couldn't pass it up. I should have bought more. That's one regret I had. I should have bought more. Um, the next thing I have is this Merry Christmas uh, Beauty and the Beast pin. I love Beauty and the Beast and I love Christmas. So put it together. It just makes sense. This was $3. No 25% off. And this came from the Camarillo outlets. Um, really excited about this one. No 25% off, but there was only like two or three, so I had to snag it up. The next thing I have is this Legacy one, um, Hunchback of Notre Dame. I love this movie. I've only seen it in Spanish, I want to say. Maybe I've seen it in English once or twice. I just love it. I love the music. It makes me sad, and I love being sad from time to time, not always. Um, but yeah, it was originally $15.99, and I got it for $4. And also no 25% off, because it was there the week after I went. Uh, the next thing I have is another pin. Now, this one I got from the Citadel Outlets. And this one is Ludwig von Drake. I totally said that wrong. 60th anniversary. It was $2.98, originally $16. And I believe this is Donald Duck's uh, tío or uh, uncle, <laughs> I want to say. I asked my husband, I'm like, uh, do we know this character? And he's like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay. And it was $3. They had a, a bunch of these at the Citadel. I did not see these at the Camarillo. A lot of the pins, I did not see. Like, they didn't match in both outlets. A lot of the shirts and the pants did match. Like, both outlets had the same type of stuff. But when it came to pins, it was different. And it was differently priced, too. I feel like Citadel was more expensive. Um, and then the last ones are, like, I don't even know if I want to show you. It's just a mess. <laughs> So I bought a pack of these pins. Oh no. I bought a pack of these pins that I'm here for the, and it's like photo and I'm here for the snacks and I'm here for the blah, blah, blah. But I got them so we could trade them while we were in downtown Disney. So this is the only one I have left and it's still gonna be a trader. But I got a, a set of four for I believe eight or $10. So it was a great deal for um, trader pins. And then I also bought a Corella pack trader pin collection i bought two of them actually because it was five pins for ten dollars again I, how can you not for trader pins but it says corella rules i'll probably keep this one but i have corella the veil it's like a little safety pin it's i have stay weird um and then there was more but again i believe i traded them already oh this one another safety pin with a heart so that was just like the set. And then I already traded for other ones that I may not keep, but I have this Disneyland one. I'll definitely won't keep this one because I already have it in my collection. I said it was too cute to pass up. I have this, ah, oh, what is it called? Villains and Vice, uh, said it the other day. Haggard? No. <laughs> I don't know, but I I got it for that. It, it's not for me, uh, but I know a lot of like other YouTubers that I watch really like villains. So anytime I see villains, I grab them and then eventually I'll send them. We'll do something with them. Old hag, old hag. <laughs> um, this Pluto one, which if my husband doesn't want, we'll trade again. This Donald Duck one that was supposed to be for my mom and I forgot to give it to her before I left. This uh, beauty one that I'll probably trade. I really like beauty, but nah, nah, nah. And then these two that reminded me of Tori in Wonderland, but I really like them as well because they look so cute. I don't know if they're actual pins. Somebody will have to tell me if they're like legit or not, but um, I think they're so cute. So I, I didn't really care at this point, <laughs> but yeah. And the last one, but not least, is this one. So this is a magical mystery pin. Originally $16. Can somebody like check this for me? One pin, $16, and it's like so small. That's wild to me. I didn't buy it for $16. I bought it for $2 and there was only one pack. Otherwise, I would have bought a bunch of packs. So what it is, is it could be any of these like pairs of socks, any of these six. I'm really hoping for anything but Frozen and then any long socks. If you've ever like noticed, I wear long socks. I love long socks. But let's see what we get. I waited till the video. How do you open this? With your teeth? 
Uh, I've never been a teeth opener. Are you a teeth opener? You know what I mean? You know when people are like, I've never done that. I don't know, it's just never been a thing I do. Okay, please be long socks. Okay, they look long, so it's not frozen. I don't have a problem with frozen, but... <gasps> yeah, so cute! I'll take it. Oh, yay, Tig Tiggy. <laughs> Tigger and Poo, so, so cute. I'm gonna have to start a collection with uh, Poo and Friends because I have way too many now, but... That was so exciting. I really like that. I wish there would have been more. For two bucks, yeah. For $16, I don't think so. Um, I really wanted, if I'm gonna be like completely honest with you, I really wanted Chip and Dale. <laughs> but any of these three I was happy with, so I'm happy with it. And that's it. That's my outlet haul. I would recommend you watch my videos of the outlet so you can see what the Vegas one is like, the uh, the one in Camarillo an hour and a half away, and the one in Citadel half an hour away. The one in Citadel, the one that's half an hour away from Disneyland, is the most chaotic because it's the most like tourist driven. So there's just stuff everywhere. It's not as organized. Um, I did notice that some of the prices, not a lot, but like two or three SKUs were a little bit higher in price than the ones in Camarillo, probably because there's just more foot traffic. Um, there is more stuff, like the store is uh, like bigger, I would say like double the SKUs, but uh, just a little more chaotic. It wasn't my rhythm, <laughs> but that's because I'm spoiled and I can go to Camarillo. Camarillo is so organized, so polite. It's just my favorite, but obviously I'm spoiled because I'm on that side of California. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions about the outlets or what your favorite thing is to shop for. This was really good. I'm just leaving in a high note because of those socks. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see all of those videos and others of my adventures. And until next time, adios.